Hello and welcome to What's New in Inventor 2013. Today's segment is on assemblies. My name is Ken Phelps, Tech Support Supervisor here at Master Graphics. When mirroring one of your assemblies, you can go through and I'll just pick a bunch of parts from my assembly here. You can choose to make new or to reuse. In this case, if I change my option to reuse some of the parts in this, if there are any challenges within trying to develop the mirrored copy of these, those parts will show with a bold lettering to it. So you get some feedback as if there could be some challenges with your design when trying to mirror these types of parts. So you get some better visual feedback before you go through and apply it to know if you may have some potential challenges. Also new for assemblies is an area around the frame generator. If I insert a frame piece just out of my sketch line I got here, Let me turn my view a little bit so you can see it better. What I want to have is my frame component to line up with the angled cutout on this plate above. A new option we have here is the align option. I can now choose the edge I want to have it to be lined up to. And I'll turn my frame piece to be lined up in parallel to that edge. Looks good. So I'll click OK, make my new component here. And that drops that in place. Also new with the frame generator, but my other assembly I have here, deals with the end treatments for some curved parts. So I go back to my design tab, and I choose to trim. I'll grab my vertical member first, then the second, and we'll see what that end condition looks like when it finishes. It'll cut the curved piece back and extend my straight one up. If I undo that and I go the opposite direction, you'll see the different results to it. I'll choose the curved piece first. It'll maintain the arc as it goes across to have the proper finish to both components. Thanks for watching. To be notified when new videos are available, subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button above. To see a list of all our videos or to get more information, click the link below to go to our website.